the deep void holding its secrets closed. But this time, something broke that cosmic silence. A relic from beyond, seven billion years in the making, tore into our solar neighborhood. Our next story telling you how the celestial visitor has rewritten the physics textbook in a way and then in a way disappeared from the script. For months, it was just a smudge of light, a ghostly halo on the edge of the Kuiper belt. Then the data stream screamed. 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever confirmed, was on a strange trajectory toward the Sun. Now, as 3i Atlas slingshots around the Sun, something extraordinary unfolds. The comet's light bends. It turned and twisted. This was exactly as Einstein's general relativity predicted. Astronomers watch stunned as gravity turns space-time into a lens. The universe itself seems to bow to Einstein's maths. Then in a move no model saw coming, 3i Atlas shifts gears. Instead of the predicted course, the comet veers, as if under the control of an invisible force. The comet or ship made an unscheduled maneuver, a distinct, inexplicable shift in its orbital path. No known rules could account for the sheer force, a clear, deliberate vector change, defying all known Newtonian and relativistic calculations. So what's the driving force behind 3i Atlas? It was a physics violation, an engineering marvel or something far darker. Every eye is glued to fresh data. Was this a natural interstellar relic or evidence of alien technology piloting a path beyond physics? Bureau Report Beyond World is One. Russia is intensifying its push in eastern Ukraine and is making fresh gains in the strategic Donbass region. Moscow claims its forces have repelled multiple Ukrainian attacks around Pokrovsk and have taken control of more than 20 buildings in Dimitrov, just south of the front line. Meanwhile, Ukraine claims to have regained territory near Dobropilia, further north, a sign that the battle for Donbass is far from one-sided. <laughs> In fact, Ukraine released new video. It says shows heavy fighting in Pokrovsk, an open source project called Deep State, which tracks frontline movements showing Russian troops pushing deeper into Pokrovsk. Though much of the city remains under contested control, Pokrovsk had a pre-war population of 60,000. Today, more civilians have fled, and if Moscow captures it, it could open the road towards Kramatorsk and Slovyansk, Ukraine's two biggest strongholds in Donetsk, and which is why these developments are all the more significant. In fact, President Zelensky has called the situation difficult, but insists that the enemy has had no success in recent days, quote-unquote. He says 30% of all combat actions on the front are now centered in Pokrovsk. The Ukrainian commander-in-chief, meanwhile, says troops have regained 188 square kilometers near Dobropilia. Zelensky, in fact, visited the troops near Dobropilia this week, saying discussions focus on drone production, weapon supplies, frontline needs. Further south, the Ukrainian police evacuated civilians from Kostyan Tinivka. As Russian strikes destroyed buildings and vehicles, most of those evacuated were elderly. Moscow's advance on Kostyan, uh, Tinivka and Pokrovsk, in fact, could pave the way for a final push towards Kramatorsk and Slovyansk, the last major cities 
still under Ukrainian control in Donetsk. And with the battle lines shifting just about every day, in a way, the fight for Donbass remains one of the deadliest fronts of this war. A harsh reality check for thousands of Indian students perhaps dreaming of studying in Canada. What was once one of the most sought-after destinations for higher education has suddenly turned into one of the toughest, it seems. In August 2025, nearly three out of every four Indian study permit applications were rejected. That's a staggering 74% refusal rate. 74%, which is more than double the 32% seen just two years ago. So what really happened? Now, just to put this in perspective first, the overall rejection rate for all nationalities stood at 40%, while for Chinese applicants, it was just 24%. And that's not all. The number of Indian students applying to Canada has also plummeted. In August 2025, there were just 4,515 Indian applicants, compared to over 20,900 in August 2023. This dramatic shift is a worrying one. The spike in refusals is not merely a statistical blip. It's the result of deeper diplomatic and policy turbulence, it seems. Canadian authorities saying the tougher stance is the countermeasure to curb the increasing number of fraudulent applications. In 2023, officials reportedly uncovered around 1,550 fake study permit applications, many involving forged college acceptance letters reportedly majority of these cases were traced back to India and following this Canada tightened its verification systems raised financial requirements and pledged to weed out non-genuine applicants but experts and observers reportedly saying the crackdown cannot be viewed in isolation it comes against the backdrop of sour diplomatic ties between the two sides a rift that remember started in 2023 when a former Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused India of involvement in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijjar. He was a designated terrorist in India. New Delhi had strongly denied those allegations, calling them absurd and politically motivated. The fallout was swift, with diplomatic expulsions, suspended trade talks, a visible chill in the bilateral ties. The effects, effects are already visible across Canadian universities, in fact. Institutions that once saw booming Indian enrollments are now witnessing steep declines reportedly. At the University of Waterloo, the number of Indian students in both undergraduate and graduate programs has dropped by nearly two-thirds in just three to four years. The Indian Embassy in Ottawa has voiced concern, emphasizing that Indian students bring immense value to Canadian institutions, to its academics and culture. Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister, meanwhile, has tried to strike a balance. She reiterates Canada's commitment to maintaining immigration integrity while also expressing a desire for Indian students to continue enriching Canadian campuses. For years now, Canada represented opportunity, world-class education and a multicultural promise that drew some of Indian students. But at this moment, the path looks rather uncertain and increasingly narrow. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.